Welcome back guys to another one. Today I have a blazing fast Gen 4 M.2 from Silicon Power that ticks all the right boxes from performance, specs and even price. And on top of that it comes with a low profile PlayStation 5 compatible heatsink. So let's see it in action. I'll keep it short and sweet. This is the XS70 and it comes in three different size capacities starting from one terabyte, which retails for around 130 bucks. All of them are backed by a five years warranty and this one terabyte model is rated for 700 terabytes return of official endurance. It features Fizen's highly popular E18 controller that is paired with the newest 176 layer 3D TLC NAND flange from Micron and one gigabyte of DRAM cache from Samsung. All of this horsepower points to an imminent conclusion that this drive will top all of my charts. Packaging is minimalist and self-explanatory and you can clearly see the drive inside with its cool low profile heatsink. I must say that this low profile shark looking heatsink is quite a stunner. It's just 10.8mm thick which means it will fit even in the PlayStation 5. Thanks to its Fison 12 nanometer E18 Gen 4 controller with 8 channels, the 4 flash micron 176 layer 3D TLC NAND B47R chips and the 1 GB DRAM Samsung DDR4 26600 chip, the Silicon Power XX70 1TB is rated up to 7.3 GB per second reads and 6.8 GB per second writes. Ok, results time. It basically tops all of my synthetic benchmark runs and tests becoming the fastest M.2 drive that I've ever tested, surpassing even the Sabrent Rocket 4 Plus. As for the loading times, it maintains its crown once again. So far so good. Now for my favorite practical test with real life transfers. Firstly I will copy to the SSD a single 14GB video file to test the burst speed followed by a copy of the same file from the SSD onto itself. Then the same process is repeated but with a big 109GB installation folder from the Assassin's Creed Valhalla game. For the burst single file test the XS70 drive has a constant write speed without any issues. Worth mentioning that usually most QLC TLC based M.2s at 1TB or 2TB in size will exhaust their SLC cache and then write at their native NAND speed. This SLC cache rarely approaches 80GB in size, hence my test of 109GB. But the XS70 kept on pushing all the way through, so it must have an even bigger SLC reserve. As you can see there was no large dip in performance and the SSD maintained the same write speed all the way through. The final chapter covers the operating temps in a benchmark run in Crystal Disk Mark. Throughout the whole benchmark run there was no thermal throttling thus the drive delivered its full potential. Its included heatsink does a proper job in keeping the drive cool so it gets maximum points here as well and mind you all of this was done at 20 degrees celsius ambient temperature. Well, this was an easy review to gauge guys since this Silicon Power XS70 M.2 Gen 4 delivers on all fronts from synthetic performance to real life transfer tests. Even more importantly, its included low profile heatsink is perfectly practical and at the same time keeps the drive cool. The excellent choice of chips under the hood from Fizen, Micron and Samsung make the XS70 so far the fastest performing M.2 drive in my tests and bear in mind you get all of this performance for just 130 bucks for the 1TB model. To conclude, any potential buyer that is looking for an excellent Gen 4 X4 M.2 should have this drive on his shopping list. Thank you for watching guys and see you in the next one. Alex out.